Ah, okay, um, it looks like it doesn't save your progress in the middle of a chapter, unless I've been stupid with something and didn't, like, find the save game option. So, I'm back at the start here, um, which means I'm going to cut it until we get back to, like, the Stonehenge area. I guess the nice thing about this game is any progress you find is really just in your own head, so you could, I could, in theory, now skip all that stuff on the lower beach. So, uh, so yeah, I guess I'll cut it until I get see you guys in a second. I did want to check the lighthouse. Just saw in case anything around here, I guess we can't find anything because we can't jump over that side. But yeah, the lighthouse, it was here. I did notice that in the editing, actually. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of comments, so uh, we'll talk about those when we actually get to a place that we've uh, that's new to us. So I'll see you guys in a second, I guess. Damn, it's a shame it doesn't save. So I'm basically going to have to keep playing until we get to, like, the boy or whatever the next chapter is. Oh, that's amazing, look. Here's a uh, here's something actually. Remember this place? I walked actually. I walked down here and then moved up on the left. Oh no, I didn't. But yeah, there was this path here, wasn't there? And we never came down here, and we couldn't come back up the path that we'd already walked down. So, I wonder. We are not like Lot's wife, you and I. We feel no particular need to turn back. There's nothing to be seen if we did. No tired old man parting the cliffs with his arms. No gifts or Bibles laid out on the sand for the taking. No tides turning or the shrieking gulls overhead. The bones of the hermit are no longer laid out for the taking. I have stolen them away to the guts of this island, where the passages all run to black, and where we can light each other's faces by their strange luminescence. Someone actually uh, explained... You guys have been amazing on the comments. I'll talk more about this when we actually get to where we uh, need to be. It doesn't look like... The path's going to let us actually go on a choice. It's quite good at making me think I've got a choice a lot of places, but I don't. You know that bit at the start? Uh, when you go up the top, really the, the path just crumbles away and you have to like drop down it and it knocks you onto the beach. So really, it looks like there's a choice there, but there's not. Something else quite cool that I saw was, you know that bird that appears like in the house and then flies over you? If you get out of the house quick enough, you can fl see it fly off into the distance and you can keep following it and uh, eventually you see it land on the beach later on. It's really, really cool. So yeah, it doesn't look like there was a choice there. Sorry guys, I'm going to cut it till we're around that corner at uh, Stonehenge, as I've been calling it. Dear Esther, I met Paul. Okay, looks good. I, I skipped the cave and uh, I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't have. It, it meant that the guy was still talking about a previous line, the thing about the kitchen, as we were walking up that path, and we didn't hear the next dialogue. Last video, when I was like listening to some of the dialogue and stopping every now and then I was going through, it's because I was scared that if I move too fast, I'd like, miss other cues for other bits of dialogue, so that's kind of why I did that, but I will try to keep walking. Um, but yeah, so, lot that you guys had so much to say, pretty much. I actually really, really, really enjoyed now that I can let's play this because uh, you guys helped me out with a lot of things. Remember that thing in the sand, the weird spiral thing? I can't remember what it's called. It has some kind of crazy name. But basically, that is, that's a mathematical thing. It's where if you, according to you guys, it's where you double the numbers if you were to just keep doubling a number in a pattern and keep doing it. And then, like, take the squares or something and you kind of draw a pattern out of it. That's what you'd get. Not sure what the significance there is. But you see all the, like, the weird scratchings and markings? And this did kind of come to my mind, but because I knew I'd be so bad at, it, at identifying what exactly they represented, I kind of just uh, dismissed it straight away, but a lot of people think that they're like atoms and this is chemical makeups and stuff, and uh, in particular a lot of people are saying it's ethanol, which uh, which is quite interesting if it is ethanol. Uh, I noticed when I came back in here, they seem to have been actually painted on the wall, like you know that first house, you can see that there's a, like an empty paint can there, it looks like they've actually just been painted on everywhere, with like this weird glowing paint, which is interesting that it's ethanol, because you had those people talking about how they were drunk, he, he said like he was drunk when he got here, stuff like that, I'm not sure what the relevance there is. I did notice at the end of the last video, wait, why is there only one book here now? There were two books here before, I swear to god, there were two books here before. I think the last video, I'm sure there was. Did I just walk over it and knock it about? What's this one say? Last time there was a book here that said it was a chemistry book. Is this because I skipped the cave? I'm sure... Hold on guys, I'm going to go back to the cave and uh, cut it till we're back. That probably won't work, but I'll see, hold on. Because I'm sure there was two books there.
I threw my arms wide and the cliff opened out before me, making this rough home. I transferred my belongings from the Bothy on the Mount and tried to live here instead. It was cold at night and the sea lapped at the entrance at high tide. To climb the peak, I must first venture even deeper into the veins of the island, where the signals are blocked altogether. Only then will I understand them, when I stand on the summit and they flow into me, uncorrupted. We definitely did not have that dialogue before. Okay, so this guy was living here? What's he talking about the, about these radio waves? What, what's, the, what's going on here? I, I think it's pretty clear to all of us. Look, 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 here you go, look. An empty paint can and then the stuff painted on the wall and it's glowing. Wasn't one of the dialogues we got before about how um, uh, things were glowing or something? Like they were lighting up from, they were seeking shelter by under the luminescence of some stuff or something like that? Oh, we didn't get that before. Oh, the, see, this worries me now because I don't want to miss any stuff. So it's like, if we move too fast, we will literally miss this stuff. Hmm, but there you go. Okay, so he was there. I do think it's pretty clear there's some kind of an infection on the island. Obviously, he was talking about those uh, digging parallel lines into the cliff faces so that any would-be rescuers would know not to come. Stuff like that. Very, very, very interesting. I guess it, I, I am, I'm wondering if we're probably not the guy... Yeah, here we go. Now it's playing the music as we walk along. I think we're probably not the guy that w that we're listening to here. Maybe the idea is like we're just finding these journal entries, but it's like not maybe forcing us to pick them up or anything so that things stay nice and immersive. Hmm. So very, very interesting. Okay, I'm going to shoot us back on over to Stonehenge here. I might even leave this walk in because just because this music's so beautiful. <laughs> I stood in the center of the sun and the solar radiation cooked my heart from the inside. My teeth will curl and my fingernails fall off into my pockets like loose change. If I could stomach, I'd eat, but all I seem capable of is salt water. Were the livestock still here, I could turn feral and gorge. I'm as emaciated as a body on a slab, opened up for a premature source of death. I've rode to this island in a heart without a bottom. All the bacteria of my gut rising up to sing to me. What? We didn't have that before either. Oh, this is just getting so bizarre. This must be related to the infection somehow. What do you guys think? All this kind of story about radiation now? Huh. The second book didn't appear. I swear, I may have to go back to episode one and have a look there. I thought there were two books here. One of them was a chemistry book. Because I read it. I read it said chemistry on it. Anyway, what's this one, guys? Can you recognise this by any chance? I sure as hell can't. I see a lot of N's. Um, good luck with that, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but yeah, what's going on with these little rocks here? I guess, what are these? You have to wonder where some stuff came from, I suppose. Is this going to be actually related to... I mean, these are obviously man-made, right? I mean, this isn't a natural phenomena. So, who made them? Was it the people that came and built the lighthouse? Or was it people from before? We built all these fences and stuff. Also, uh, when I was walking back here, this little cliff here, I don't want to fall down because this is where we found the, t the car door down there. See, that's the car door down there. But if I did fall down, would it give me more dialogue? I'm not sure I want to risk that. It might just kill me. That's a pretty horrible drop there. But yeah, that's the car door there. So what? That's, that's weird as well. Like, I'm assuming here everything has been meticulously placed. So why? What? There was a car here? Or was it a car on the... It's just very, very weird. Okay, so what else? We came from over there. That means... that Oh, look, there's a beautiful little waterfall over there. Should we go check that out? And then continue on up the path? Also, um, yeah, I like that you guys were a little bit responsive to the idea of me not talking constantly on this. That doesn't mean I'm going to like... Oh, hi guys, welcome to another video. And then uh, <laughs> just not talk for the whole thing. Then That's of course not what I mean, but you know... We should get absorbed into this. Get absorbed into it together. So yeah, apparently we can't go up the waterfall. Let's uh, let's move around this corner here. I love how you can still just hear the water and the waves. Just off over there. So cool. 
And yeah, somebody else mentioned, it is very well designed, the level. It really is, because you've got, like, the lighthouse is always blinking at you in the distance wherever you turn. I guess that's where we're headed. I do guess that's... Ooh. Did you guys hear that? Of course you heard that. Well, I don't know. Some I, I'm finding it a bit weird getting the... The sound balance right on this, so that you guys can actually hear what's going on. I wonder how many more... <laughs> keeps interrupting me. I wonder how many more moments there are going to be. Oh, there's no turning back from here. Should we go for it? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, uh, is that the end of the chapter? That's the end of the chapter. If I just moved like 10 meters down the road, then I would have been fine. Oh, is this the kind of le game that you could let's play and do like one chapter every video? I'm sure it probably is. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimetre using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Hmm, so we're actually in the British Isles? This is really cool hearing places like that, you know, you hear about a lot living in England. I'm sure that any of uh, my international viewers probably would have no idea what the hell Bristol or Exeter. Well, Bristol, you probably know. Did he just mention Bristol? But he mentioned Wolverhampton and that, wow, what are we looking at down here? Little beautiful flies and birds and stuff. What way should we go? Obviously, I want to go to the wreck, but let's uh, explore around the cliff first a little bit. I remember this was one of the screenshots that the guy took of the game um, when it was being developed, and he was like, "Oh, look at how pretty it is!" And he like did one of those things where, as the game was developed more and more, he did like different shots of the same area so that you could see how it had been improved. Very, very cool. Oh no, now I feel like this path's going to take me to a new destination. So let's not do that. Also, I don't want to drop down the cliff because I'm so... Look, there's... Oh, it's closer. Is that the peak, maybe, that he talked about that he wanted to get to? But for that, he had to go through the heart of the island? Did he use that term? Did he say heart? I think he might have. We've got some cans around here. Is that, a, is that a person? Could you guys see that? It looked so clear in the distance for a second. No, it's probably just a post. I'm probably just freaking out. Look, 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 look. That looks like the shape of a human. And then when you look closer at it, it fades away. Are you, <laughs> are you shitting me? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, I hope you can see that because that's so small, but on YouTube that, oh. That is definitely doing something. That's playing with my head. Wow. Oh my god. If that's one of those little details that are in the game, that's hilarious. That's brilliant. What the hell is going on here? That's actually kind of freaking me out now. <laughs> Just knowing that someone could be watching me. What have we got over here? Piano has stopped. Um. So what, are we assuming that... Is this maybe the ship he came on or what? I don't know. I doubt it. How many people have come here and crashed here? This is the second shipwreck we found. At least this one we can explore somewhat. Uh, are there any like notes on crates or anything like that? Payload. Co EAP. I think that's what it said after that. This bit of the video will probably be filled with me trying to wedge myself into small places. That's what she said. <laughs> this is not the game to be making jokes. Oh dear. Okay. Let's keep moving around. See, I'm not, I'm still I'm still not sure what kind of stuff to be expecting here, right? I mean, it's not a game with collectibles or so it's a bit of a shift, you know what I mean? Of course you do. Everyone knows what I mean. Hmm, can we actually get on the deck of the ship, please? 
We're not going to drown by walking in these shallows, are we? No. I'm kind of under the impression, it says Q to swim up. I think that there could be like just a point later on in the game where you have to swim or something like that. See this, if this was any other game, it would look like a bit of platforming. Onto that box, onto that box, onto there, all the way along there, onto those rocks, and then up onto the deck, you know? But nope, or same there kind of thing. Uh. What about moving around on the right? What do you guys think about that? But yeah, what was I saying? I forgot. Sorry, guys. I hate when people do that too. Oh, yeah, I've got a point, and then I distract myself and then say something completely different. Is that person still over there? You can't quite see from this angle. That definitely was something, though. It's been designed so that when you look away, it glows more. So you catch it just out of the corner of your eye. You look over, and you're like, oh, no, it was nothing. You can still, it's still doing it, guys. You can't see it so clearly, but it's still doing it on the rock. Oh, that's so freaky. What have we got over here? Oh, yeah, the Q thing. Yeah, I think maybe there's just going to be like a part in the game where you just kind of have to press Q to swim through like an action sequence or something. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? What's he talking about hermits? Is he talking about people? Yeah, he must, he must, wait, why would there have to be a hole, though, for people to have survived and gone out? What is going on here? Is this some kind of, oh, yeah, that was something I was going to mention, actually. You know, I saw, like, that cage thing on the beach at the start of the first episode, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is obviously uh, some kind of a shopping cart or something. I think maybe that's, like, like a, a crab trap or something, you know, like, for actual fishing or, or something like that, so that the people could eat that were living here. What is going, is this another mathematical thing, guys? Maybe. There's a three there. But why is it circling this rock? How much of this has significance? What the hell? I'm hammering the E key. I want to press like a button or something. Okay. That's going to be one of the things that goes over my head. Interested to see what you guys think about that. Definitely. Um, so there must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. But we're not allowed in it, I, I guess. I'm scared that I'll drown. You can see holes. I want to go inside it, though. Maybe Q is just to sort of get up and catch your breath again. Because last last time I wasn't sure if I was getting back up to catch my breath just because it was automatically doing it. It was like I was like thrashing about for air or because I was moving close to the shore or because I was pr pushing Q. Or maybe a, a bit of both of the latter, I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, it doesn't look like it's going to let me get over there, guys, because all, the, all these rocks are kind of perfectly laid out. So, uh, yeah, I guess we don't get to explore the ship. Which is a shame. Oh, you know what that means. We have to walk over to that sk That That is so clear there. Can you see that? I don't have a mouse cursor to show you. I guess we have to walk over to the person in the distance. Oh, I wonder how many people notice that. I kind of want to be like, Oh, yeah, I noticed this thing that nobody else saw, but... It's just... It's just obvious enough. I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anaesthetic... Your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. <laughs> oh, I'm just picking out key words here. <laughs> I saw drunk there. Ties into the ethanol, maybe? Ah, oh, what? Now his kidney stones have grown. What does that mean? Maybe, maybe he's referring to... His uh, kidney stones as his problems, and now the island is his problem. Maybe I don't. Hell, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a, a, an analyst or anything. But that seems sound, right? Is there anything on the boat that we can look at? The zoom seems a little bit redundant, really. It doesn't. It doesn't do much. It just kind of distorts it. it. Gives you like a bit of a fish eye effect. Hmm. But there are like, two different boats that have crashed. Did one crash and then the other come in for rescue? Maybe, and then the second one crashed. What was the cargo that they were bringing? The islands in the distance, what are they? Where are, are we in like the Shetlands or something? This is around the UK. But is it though? An imagined answer phone message. The tires are flat, the wheel spins loosely, and the brake fluid has run like ink over this map, staining the landmarks and rendering the coastline mute, compromised. Where you saw galaxies, I saw only bruises cut into the cliff by my lack of sobriety. Yeah, definitely keeps talking about being drunk, doesn't he? Definitely. But maybe this is kind of the story of a lonely man who uh, came to an island 
had nobody there with him, he knew about some kind of infection, knew that he couldn't bring anyone else here. Uh, but he was seeking out the island. But whatever the case, eventually he was alone here, started writing to an old love, Esther, uh, as he just drank himself to death. But he was searching for something. Was he searching for that lighthouse? The light's blinking. There must be civilization here. And uh, yes, I feel very weird about standing here because there was a person here. What was round here on the left of this cliff? Look, another one. Look, look, look. A boy that's also blinking. One of the chapters is called The Boy. Very interesting. Right, well, we've got this path round up here, haven't we? The water does look beautiful. I like the way that the game's like... I like the game the way the game's like... I say like too much. If there's anything doing videos has taught me, it's that I'd say like way too... Wait, there was a path up on the side, wasn't there? I didn't think it was this far back. Maybe it was. But yeah, the game seems to balance actual land with the sea really well. You notice how that opening shot is... Only about a third of the screen is taken up by the actual island. The rest... Is uh, is all the the sea? Yeah, the, did I just miss the path? Sorry, guys, you're probably screaming at the screen if I did. I thought that there were, oh, was it a lower path? Oh, I see. oh no no no. Okay, so the lower path was down there. I'm already up it. It's a bit like what did I do in episode one that was very similar to that? It was just so stupid. Yeah, where the where we came down towards the cave, <laughs> just dropped down the little thing, and I came out. I was like, Ugh. let's go back. Oh look, there's something there. I can't quite read it though. Oh, the game's weird, like, it feels like you can climb up stuff. You see how, like, I'm floating up there a little bit, but not quite. Is that person going to start reappearing if I... No, I don't... Ooh. Do you hear that little bit of wind there? Wait, this is just... Surely th this is just where we started. Okay, interesting. I may cut it, guys. Um, I thought there was maybe we are on the higher part. No, there's just two paths that go to the same place, aren't there? Because you got the one on the lower bit and then the one on the upper bit of this cliff too. So do we go on the boat? Is there a way around the side? Do we get to the boy somehow? I'm going to go back up there. I, I want to check. What I may have missed there. Maybe there's a way to climb down onto those rocks from the other side. I feel like I need to get on the deck of the ship. Could I navigate those rocks, perhaps? But the game seems to be leading me this way, right? So... Alright, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I know we didn't make very much progress here, but the next video that I filmed, we, we got pretty far. We're at the, at the cave. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to end this one here. And yet, with those two books, there were definitely two books there. You can go back to that first episode if you want. And, like, the last second of that episode is me looking down at the two book. Why would there only be one book there this time? It is really, really weird. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. I'll leave you with the soothing sounds of the island.